We're live. Okay, well, so I'll just begin the recordings. Cloud is up. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Polite, will you begin the opening? Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the remote hearing on small business. Will council members and staff please turn on your video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place your cell phones electronics to vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Good morning. I'm Councilmember Mark Jonai, Chair of the Committee on Small Business, and I'd like to welcome you to our remote vote today on proposed intro 2243. The COVID-19 crisis presents the greatest threat to the small business economy in modern history. According to a report by the city controller, at least 2,800 small businesses closed permanently between March 1st and July 10th. Partnership with New York City predicts that as many as a third of the 230,000 small businesses in New York City will not survive the COVID crisis. According to Opportunity Insights, small business revenues were down over 55% in March 2021 in comparison to January 2020. As small businesses are experiencing declines in revenue, many small businesses have been unable to pay their rent. The Hospitality Alliance surveyed restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and event venues and found that over 90% of the respondents did not pay their full December rent. I want to emphasize that many landlords in this city are renegotiating their lease agreements with their tenants in good faith. Some small businesses they fear, however, that their inability to pay rent may lead their landlords to go after their personal assets or property because of the leases that they may have included personal guarantees in. This past spring, the council boldly acted to prevent this through the passage of Local Law 55, which temporarily prohibited the enforcement of personal liability provisions in some commercial leases. City Council extended this vital protection through March 31st, 2020, through the passage of Local Law 98. Proposed intro 2243, which we are voting through committee today, will extend the suspension of these provisions even further through June 30th, 2021. I would hope this administration would follow suit. As we all know, the city has provided loans during COVID to struggling businesses. These loans include personal guarantees or repayment. It's ironic that we're passing a law which will move the personal liability and private lease agreements between landlords and tenants, but these same personal liability guarantees are included in city-sponsored loan agreements to the same struggling small businesses. With that being said, the mass closure of the city's small businesses will leave commercial corridors decimated and unemployment rates high. As the chair of the Committee on Small Business, it is my priority to ensure our small business sector will reemerge strong after the COVID-19 crisis is over. I'm proud of the work of this committee in fighting to protect and support the city's mom and pop shops, our very micro businesses, and backbone to this city. With that said, I'd like to thank my Chief of Staff, Reggie Johnson, our Legislative Counsel, Stephanie Jones, Policy Analyst, Noah Meixler, and Financial Analyst, Aliyah Ali, for all their hard work in preparing for this vote. I also want to recognize Baby Cecilia, which we have named SB1, for her contributions and more support to this committee and these important hearings. Thank you, baby Cecilia. Are we gonna have a roll call? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, still morning. Uh, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on small business. Proposed introduction 2243A, Chair Jonai. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Uh, 
come back to Council Member Rodriguez. Council Member Levin. I'm sorry. I'm here now. Yes, Council Member Rodriguez. Right. Introduction 2243. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Levin. Aye. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Perkins. One moment. Councilmember Perkins. I can't hear you, Councilmember. One moment while we try to fix council member Perkins audio. Uh, Billy? Yeah. yeah. I have Council Member Perkins on the line on my phone. Um, can you call the vote? Sure. Uh, introduction 2243A, Council Member Perkins. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council uh, Member. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great day.